folks it is day four and i am back on trail today could be one of my longest days on the trail and my first milestone for the day is to get over forester pass and i know it's 13,000 feet above 13,000 feet and i'm about 9.4 miles away from the pass so i left camp around 6:30. And I think it's just a steady up all the way. But uh, looks to be another uh, good day. Blue clouds. You know, can't, uh, can't ask for anything more than that. But we'll see. We'll see how things go today and how far I go. But right now, uh, let's get up this pass. Ooh, what a beautiful spot. So that's where I came from, Wallace Creek. So I'm about um, two and a half miles in. I've climbed about a thousand feet so far. Uh, it's been fairly steady, you know, some flats and then a couple steep parts, so gradually gaining some incline up here. But uh, man, what a beautiful day. What a beautiful view up here. Well, I'm about four miles in now. I'm at a nice creek here where I can uh, replenish with some water. So I'm just gonna take my pack off and uh, have second breakfast. Taking a nice little break, which I think I need. Um, you know, I'm, I'm battling in my mind, um, enjoying the journey. Um, I'm such the type of person I, I'm ready to you know, conquer something, complete the task, and get it done. And I'm already thinking about, I mean, you know, I'm three miles in, I'm already thinking about lounging in my hammock. <laughs> I'm thinking about getting over Forester Pass. Uh, and I'm already thinking about Happy Isles. And I think it's important to be able to visualize being successful. I do think that's important. But I think I am missing out on some of the journey and I think I realized that when I came up that one little ridge and it was just, there's a little pond up there and it was just mountain, just, you know, 360. It was stunning. And I was like, man, I need to just really slow down and enjoy the journey. Uh, not feel bad about taking a break. Like right now, you know, maybe a 20 minute break. Where in my mind, I'm like, I gotta go, I gotta go, I gotta go. I got a lot of miles, I gotta go. And so that's kind of what I am battling uh, so far on, on day four. And I probably will need to battle that throughout because that's just my mentality of trying to uh, get going. But I know sitting here for 20 minutes, having another breakfast is just going to help me. It's going to help me be more rested. My shoulders are going to feel better and I'm going to feel better just hiking. So that's kind of the, uh, the mental struggle that I'm going through right now. But right, let me stop yapping and start enjoying some of this cold oatmeal. <laughs> Yum. You can see I am sporting the sun umbrella now. It was just about a four mile stretch, four and a half mile stretch uh, up to Forester Pass. But there's no no shade, no coverage, and this is why I brought it. It's working out great.
And I think it's that one. Still looks impossible. See, let's go see the trail. Back. Never forget to look back. Plus, whoo, yeah, huh. Good. Side on the other side. Forster Pass is down 13,200 feet, the highest pass on the John Muir Trail. So they only get smaller after this. Whew, that was, a, that was a good little climb. Even climbing up those switchbacks, I still don't see how, uh, how they did it, but it's amazing. Oh, all right. It's about lunchtime. It's no wind up here. I think I'm gonna drop my pack and have a little lunch. Coming down Forester Pass, had a great lunch up there, and I think I have made the decision to uh, stop at Bite It, Bite It Meadow, which is um, about eight miles from here. Uh, there's a bear box, I believe there's water there, and that'll put me in at around 17 and a half miles a day, which is good. And I had planned on like a 23 and a half mile day. And I just kept thinking to myself, why am I doing that? Well, I did that because I was trying to plan to stay at Ray Lakes because I just heard so many things. But staying at Vedette Meadow is going to set me up better for Glen Pass. And I can see Ray Lakes in the early morning light, which should be special. And it'll actually help me set up some other passes a little better so I think it is going to work out better and I'm just basically trading uh, an 18 mile day today and turning an 18 mile day later on into 20 um, and so a couple times so I think I would rather do that as I'm building up my my trail legs and uh, I mean, 18 miles still <laughs> ain't no joke for this old man but um, that's the plan for today. Hope to get into camp maybe around five o'clock if all things go well. So we will see you on the trail. I have finally made it down to some decent shade coming down from Forrester Pass and that's over the past five miles so it's been since 10 30 this morning until was it three o'clock that I've been exposed you know no no shade no coverage so who when people tell you that the sun is no joke out here you know they ain't lying and one of the best investments I bought just before I got here, actually I bought at Mammoth Lakes, 
is my uh, sun gloves. <laughs> Man, I, I love them. And <laughs> I'm so glad I have them. I'm so glad I have my umbrella and I have my hoodie and my paper clip. I'm telling you, that paper clip has been kind of a lifesaver because I would have hate having to constantly put that hood back on because it because the sun is is non-stop it's non-stop this Bubs Creek is something special man wasn't expecting this at the end of my day We are finally arriving into Vedette Meadow. And whoo, man, we've been going down for eight straight miles. <laughs> and I think we've lost over 4,000 feet of elevation, so it's been fairly steep. Here's the bear box for the site. And that looks like an amazing little area. Let's go check it out. Hopefully it's close to the water. Oh yeah, this is going to do. This is going to be the best sight of the trip so far. Creek right down here. I might soak my feet a little bit. Oh, what a beautiful spot. What a beautiful spot. have my hammock hung so far. I'm just relaxing. Nothing fully set up yet. But... Yeah, even in this little spot right here, there's a lot of great uh, trees here for hammock camping. I think the thing I like the most is logs for sitting when you're having dinner. And the best is the creek. Great access to the creek fairly private site so I originally wasn't going to stay at this uh, campsite I was going to hike on to uh, Ray Lakes because I hear amazing thing about Ray Lakes but it just didn't work out for me in terms of the mileage um, but <laughs> this is pretty sweet I definitely am enjoying this campsite well that's going to do it for day four what an amazing day uh, hiked 17.5 miles and you know cleared the largest pass that I'm gonna have on this trip so I feel good about that this camp spot is is wonderful I mean Vedette Meadow man what an awesome place to to wrap up for tonight and I'm just sitting here by the creek uh, just letting my feet soak from a long day of hiking uh, cleaning up a little bit but then uh, but then yeah it's um we're gonna go cook some dinner and just call it an evening so we will see you in the morning here we are glen pass and beautiful ray lakes <laughs>